Hi guys, we're excited to share with you our newest lineup of our most advanced technology LCD, XO5. XO5 brings the aftermarket LCD to the next level. We've added so many features in this that we can't wait to share with everyone. XO5 has hundreds of features compared to the richness of the colors, the pure blacks, the response time and everything. And we really can't tell you like, hey, how excited we are about XO5. There's a few key features that we'd like to talk to you about. Primarily eight positive features that we can definitely show that, hey, this is where our improvements are. One of the major improvements on XO5 is the LCD driver IC. This IC we've been able to procure from Taiwan and found a smaller, thinner IC that we can be putting underneath the um, IC cover plate. The major problem that most uh, Chinese suppliers had is that the IC was much bigger and causing a little bit of a yellow and pressuring mark from the back side of the LCD where the tech would have to kind of move around the IC to pull the position it like directly so it would sit right above the loudspeaker with the newest addition of the Taiwan IC you shouldn't ever have this issue again where it can sit always much higher above the loudspeaker and should never need the text to actually readjust the IC the second biggest improvement that we felt that was needed on XO5 was the need for a faster refresh rate so one thing that we did was making sure that hey as the users swiping between data and pages, that there will be no lag between it. Um, this was a great partnership with the software company and XO5 to making sure that, hey, that they would be mimicking the original functionalities on this. The third great feature that we were able to implement on XO5 is going to be the oleophobic coating. Now, yes, the predecessor did have a like electroplate oleophobic coating. However, the technology that we used wasn't as ed like advanced as the current one. The older tech technology lacked the um, capabilities of actually adding us a smoother layer of oleophobic coating. Yes, the coating won't last long. However, when you would install products like tempered glass or something like that, those will not adhere fully around the corner due to being an unbalanced oleophobic coating. Now with the newer ones, they're much, we're using a much more better machinery and technology to get the oleophobic down. So even with the new ones, and now the latex gloves cause a very heavy streak on the screen. And even if I'm rubbing it very hard, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, that you can't see any coating at all. Now, the latest gloves always leave some type of very heavy residue or something like that. So, the oleophobic tech technology has heavily been increased on XO5. The fourth beauty of XO5 is the true rich deep blacks. Um, perfecting the black color on the aftermarket LCDs was a little bit of a struggle due to the fact that it's mostly controlled by the polarizer and changing the polarizer to um, a heavy X like tent will cause you know different type of problems like uh, the polarizing glassing issue or anything like that but after hard work we have been able to solve it now even on it, when the customer is viewing any black parts of the video it's going to be always true rich dark black it's not going to be a um, washed out gray or anything like that from any single angle fifth awesome technology on XO5 is our custom built backlight. This is something that the industry has never done before where they've been able to perfect the backlight colors. If you ever look on China copy LCDs at all around these corners where it would normally be much darker compared to the center being much more brighter. That's due to there's a lot of light, light, light likely happening all around the corners. On XO5, not only are the colors that evenly spread out and true toned, they're actually going to also, you'll see that, hey, that there's not going to be any light leak on a fully lit backlight. Like, there's no light coming out of the corners or anything from the sides or anything like that. <clears throat> there's a very interesting um, thing that we've actually used from the OEM technologies. This is a double layer backlight steel plate. Now, this is where we've actually went in and saw that, hey, that there's not a single supplier, not a single factory. China just doesn't do this function at all. This white extra layer of backlight, this is a double layer backlight. 
Now, what this will do is allow the colors to actually stay within its, its own bracket. And this will also ensure that, hey, the blacks morally of, of, of absorb some of the light and there's much more chances of light to leak out. Us building a double layer backlight, we not only had to use special films and papers and technology, but this was something very new. But this brought a tremendous color uh, per perfection on the aftermarket LCDs. One of the most exciting features of X05 is true tone capability. Yes, aftermarket, there is possibilities to allowing Alpha M8 and A Plus to still have true tone capabilities on it. So we have built in an EEPROM IC into the aftermarket LCDs. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to read the IC. <clears throat> and you might be able to see that, hey, that there's the serial number and the um, force touch sensor number. So all the serials have been programmed inside the China copy. How we did this, <coughs> this. So we installed an EEPROM IC into the China copy FPC connectors for iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. This gives us a true advantage to give back to the customer the same features that they came in with. So if they came in with true tone capabilities, you'll still be able to offer that feature right back into it. Don't have to give them, uh, don't have to go premium just to enable this feature for the customer. So this is an amazing advancement in the LCD industry that we're excited to share with everyone. FPC's connectors were a overlooked feature on a lot of aftermarket LCDs. X05 took this to the next level. We're going to be using 100% OEM FPC connectors to ensure two major problems. One, that the fitment makes correct contact um, with the motherboard. And second feature will be that, hey, that over testing over a period of time by plugging it in, taking it off, plugging it in, taking it off, these, F these pins start to open up their mounts. When they open up the pins, what ends up happening is that they don't make correct contact on certain number of pins and everything like that. When we're using OEM FBC connectors, not only on the connectors there and the bottom connector, it would 100% ensure that there should be zero loss of home button connectivity or a LCD blocking out. The next step that we thrived on on improving on X05 was the side 3D touch. Now. In its predecessor, X04, we 100% always made sure that we're gonna use real 3D touch. The main benefit of real 3D touch that is easily seeable is that when you're trying to do even uh, the 3D touch when the phone, when the device is down, you would easily still be able to do it. On the copy three, three light D panels, when they're on the table or they're on a flat surface, that function doesn't exist. So uh, along with that 3D touch panel, there was a s small issue where we're trying to see if like, hey, if the side 3D functions can still work. Um, and the sensitivity on it is actually, that's where it actually determines to actually show that, hey, can all these functions happen? So what we did is we took our 3D touch panel, and if you look very carefully, you'll see that, hey, there's an additional add-on that we added to it we're adding an extra line on the 3D touch panel to saying that, hey, we need this side sen sensitivity to be also there. This tech technology is also still fairly new in China and it's not being implemented yet. But X05, being the industry leader, will present it. X05 has a bunch of other little tidbits that we're not really mentioning. We have added small things, like we added the um, camera cushion, the front camera cushion someone's tapping on the front of the LCD, it won't be knocking on the front camera. We've added the uh, light diffuser right over here, the white ones. And we've made sure, we've actually added a double layered earpiece speaker. So these are really stuck on where there's two pieces, the gasket and the earpiece is actually two separate pieces. So you shouldn't be able to remove these so easy. Now, we've always added the LCD adhesive tape, but we've always questioned what's the benefit of LCD adhesive tape when water can easily penetrate through the earpiece. So X05 features very small little minute things like these, and compared to like iPhone 6S or 6, they were added adhesive at the bottom so these LCD flex cables don't flap around and it's much harder to put in. We've aligned them up to make sure that, hey, that 
every user should be able to snap them right and easily.